Welcome to a new episode of Colorful Conversations with Connie and, and Corey. We want to say welcome back. It's been a while. Yes. I hope everyone had an amazing summer. I know we did. It was Connie's birthday in August, mine in July. And we had a blast. Connie was written up in the... Amsterdam. Amsterdam. You can go check it out about her birthday. Um, I have a socialite here. Oh, and she got an award, well, from the um, congressman. congressman. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a very nice, it was very, very nice. Very, very nice. I was very surprised, shocked, and very much appreciated it. No, it was really beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I'll post that on our Instagram. I have pictures of it framed and stuff, so I'll post that on our Instagram. So, Connie, how was your summer, honey? It was great. It was it good. It really was, and that was one of the really brightest moments I'm starting to think. But really? Every day was great. I mean, any day you wake up and you're healthy and you can move about, it's great. And we had a really fun summer. I mean, Connie and I hugged out and mm, we, we just uh, did a lot of fun stuff with the rock a lately. A lot of eating. A lot of eating, drinking. Mm -hmm. um, but now it's back to business. Amen. <laughs> and then, so Connie, we're all professional. If you haven't noticed, if you've watched our other videos, Connie has a new picture in the background. I haven't changed about it like mine. But yes, Connie looks fabulous. That's from her birthday, everyone. Yes, it is. Come to yes, think about it. Yes, from her birthday. Birthday. Mm -hmm. So Connie, serial daters and people oh. jumping from relationship to relationship. Now I will mm -hmm. be guilty and wave my hand when I was younger. I did do that, mm -hmm. but I don't anymore. I've been single for 18 years, maybe. Wow. That's a long so, time. That's a long time. There, I, there's no serial dating there. No. <laughs> well, I always say, you know, that I've met many worthy of my affection, but no one worthy of my love. Oh, that's beautiful. That sounds nice. Yes. Yeah. So Connie, um, why do people jump from relationships to a relationship? Because they're not in a relationship. Oh, shit. She was not like, that, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I don't mean to hurt nobody's feelings. Oh, God. But if that's not a relationship, you're just jumping from one person to the next. Um, not even giving yourself a chance to have a relationship. It may also be that whoever you're jumping with don't want to have a relationship with you either. You know, it could be a two-way street. But it depends. Most people that do that aren't looking for a relationship. Do you just, really think that, though? No, they're not. But you wouldn't just keep jumping from one to the next. One month, this one, next month, that one. Okay. Don't even have to be a month. It could be a week. Who okay, knows? but I mean, look. I mean, it is hard out here. Very. And dating is extremely, I mean, the worst after a certain age, yes. one. Yes. Two, we live in New York City, and New York City is the hardest city to just meet people to go on a date. I don't even think, I don't even know if people go on dates anymore. Like, well, I, hey, would you like to go on a date? I don't know, because I, I don't know I how know you can say you. New York is the hardest city, because it's not. Okay. I was just listening to the radio today, and it was like, New York is like the best place. It's, and you don't always have to spend money. You can walk down Times Square and have the time of your life and don't have to spend a dime. No, I believe that. So, you but know, when it comes to dating, though, Connie, I mean, dating is kind of hard. I mean, I would say we're sexually transmitted. we in this crisis of monkey pops and stuff. You want to be donkey. in a solid or not monogamous. It doesn't have to be not monogamous, but it has to be steady. You right. know, and you're afraid. Is, and afraid. So when you're dating someone, you stick to that one person. Right. And so that tends to happen. Um, and that tends to happen. I don't think, and if somebody's self aware and they're comfortable in their skin, I, why not if they meet somebody and say, let's go on a date? And they just broke up with somebody. No, I don't see anything wrong with that at all. But I mean, you're saying serious. I mean, they just jumping, jumping, jumping. They're not even giving themselves a chance to connect with someone in order to have a relationship. So what do you, do you believe in destiny? And like sometimes it might be like, hey, that might not be the person, but it might have disrupted or came to an end because the person is coming. And if that person might have been blocking your blessing. Yes, that's true. So that, I say wait on it. Be still and wait on it. I heard somebody tell me that recently, just the other day, how she, you know, was in a relationship and all they did was, you know, bang, bang, bang. But, and that would happen months apart now. This wasn't like she'd see him once a week. It'd be every two or three months. I was, I was telling her like, damn, you had to wait that long to get a piece? Anyway, moving but forward. But that's that. But that's what they were doing. And she realized, she's like, you know, this is not a relationship. Because when she needed him or something would happen and she had gotten ill, 
They was nowhere to be around. Okay, so we're talking about two different things. No, I'm around. saying the fact that that's what they were doing. She was jumping from one bed to the next bed to the next bed. And then this last bed, she said, you know what? That's it. Okay, I'm not doing what? this anymore. I'm it's not doing it. And she gave, she put a prayer out to the universe. Listen, this is what I'm looking for. Please bring me. She said she wanted someone like herself. So, booyah. So, sexual relationships she are relationships, it. correct? All day relationships. I don't They're sexual so. relationships. Yeah, okay, you want to put a name on it? Sexual They're relationships. relationships. I'm, I'm, I'm coming to your house. Yeah. I'm laying in your bed. I'm, I'm, you're, as one of my aunt would say, uh, your, your flesh is your, your, um, enjoying <laughs> some flesh to flesh. Okay. Um, that's, so that's a relationship. You're having, you have to have some conversation. You know, you're walking in the door and just say, drop your pants. Some people do. I agree. I've done some it. Some people do. I've done it. And so that's what it is. But so I, you're saying it's a sexual relationship. relationship. Because the people that I had sex with, I had relationships with them. I had, I did not, not dislike them. Mm -hmm. I liked them for certain sexual I would qualities. hope so. You know what I mean? Right. But that's what I'm saying. That it was sex. I'm like, dang it. But it was a relationship. Like so it's so, a sexual so relationship. Once again, relationship. So you can be... You can have not just even a serial monogamous, you can also have a serial sexual person who's constantly having yes. sex. Yes. Yep. From person to the person. From person to person. And that's not, that's so, nasty. Uh, yeah, but then, some, nasty. but I mean, <laughs> you think it's nasty, huh? Nasty. Hey, if, you know, people got <laughs> needs, Connie, <laughs> come on. Nasty. Connie, people have needs. I know, you have needs, but I mean, come on. You what? got, okay, try, so, try, okay, so try to keep that same person for a couple of months at least. So, okay. And well, then go get tested, please. Uh, right, but let's <laughs> say you're in a relationship. Most people complain that they're not having enough sex. What and then it be a single person? I always get I argue with people because I'm like, well, I'm single. I can't roll over and knock on somebody. But like, hey, I'm horny. Let's have sex like somebody else. You know, I have you gotta to. Get it with I gotta man. work. I gotta work for. I gotta find it. I got even though okay. being a gay man is easier. You, they got all these apps. I can uh -huh. look on my app and see who's down the street. I know. I heard about that. That is amazing. <laughs> do they have that? Do they have that for single people? That, that is amazing. Do I have to be gay to have that app? God, he's not. Well, because I mean, I want to get that app. I don't know about you guys out there, but I want, well, I don't really need it, but I'm just saying. I like to get it anyway, just to see who's down the block. I, I mean, well, I will say, is I haven't been doing that monkey box and all that stuff, haven't been doing it for a while. But, but you have. I have in the past, but... I do look to see who's in the neighborhood. Oh, I would. I just want to do that to see who's in the neighborhood. Cause I I see, cause, but I've seen a few <laughs> in the neighborhood, and I was attracted to them. And then I've been on their Instagram and stuff, and they're sarcastic. And then they look, walk around in the neighborhood, and they look mean. And so they're they they're no longer for? attractive to me. Yes. So it's like, ugh. And they may be looking mean for a reason. reason. Right, because, well, hello, we're in the public eye now, and, you know, people are on social media. But mm -hmm. I, I just feel like... Um, you know, it's just fun to look around and see who's in the neighborhood, but that's, you know. that's what I'm saying. It sounds like fun. So I don't know about you all, but I'm gonna try to get that app. But so going when back, we're not taking, please give me that. App. <laughs> so going back to the real topic, um, yeah. but I can't knock on my name, my boyfriend's, you know, who's laying next to me because I'm single. So it's more much easier for somebody in a couple to have sex regularly, but. You, the argument is is what's serial what's too much sex what's too many relationships i think that's also a judgment yeah and, and and my whole thing is judge ye not right i guess that's, that's one thing i say all the time because who am i to judge somebody else but if you're sleeping with Susie on sunday and maria on wednesday and Lolita on Friday. Isn't that a bit much? No, because if she's single or he is single, if in a regular relationship, the average person may want maybe sex three times in a week. What's the problem in having? So but my whole thing is that like you're saying, we're times? saying we're saying serial. You're doing it with so many different people. Okay. Why can't you just, well, if Lolita's okay, why can't it be just you and Lolita right now? Because Lolita See, I, and I are not know each other, or we don't have a relationship, and Lolita don't want to sleep with me again. What do I then do? Move on. Exactly. Move on. So, so then, I, I, then my, the idea that I'm sleeping around is perceived as serial. 
but it's not really serious. It's that serious. It's, it's your needs. It's this your is the needs. needs you have. So then we shouldn't use the word serial. Okay. Let's just say you're needy. You're sexually needy. Oh my God, I don't needy. even like the word needy. Well, so I'm you just, that's what it is. I you're just, sexually we, needy. That's I, what it can is. Can we just say horny? Okay, say horny. But anyway, <laughs> but either way, you're horny really. and you're needy. They, 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 we can put them together. You're sexually horny and needy. Okay. But so I, if that's how you want to roll, by all means, I'm not, I'm not going to judge anybody. No, I know you're not I'm a not, judgy person. No, no, but I'm not, do you no, think uh -huh. being sexually needy is a bad thing? No, if it's, I, I can't say. It may be right. bad for you, but right, it may right, be right. bad for me because right. I don't, I don't want to have to bounce all around town. You know what I'm saying? And this, listen, they got shops, they got toys, they got. I mean, drink. as a single person, I find, and that's not you, um, but I find that more people in couple relationships are more judgmental of single people. Which uh, can be true. That's I mean, how I'm not I judgmental. Feel. I no, feel I can understand people, that. Like I can't. Like I said, I don't have a partner. The work that goes into finding someone that I want to have sex with right. takes a while. Or, so, and so, then when I find so, a few, I might be sleeping with a few of them because I found them in the rock. Okay, fine. So then go to the app. <laughs> go to the app. Right. I mean, there's, uh, there's pros and cons. I mean, if you feel comfortable, like we were saying right now in the beginning about all this stuff going around, monkey pox, donkey mm, pox, dog, everything, right. kitten pox, doggy pox, everything. there's all kind of pox. Everything. So in order to be safe, I suggest that, you know, you find, but find you, somebody Rick, again, and test everybody. No, you, I agree with that. I say that you find someone, but finding someone, they have to want to be sexually active with you on a regular. That's not always the okay. case. Mm -mm. I think sometimes because this is the not argument, but the discussion I've had with a lot of couples, couple people in couple relationships or heterosexual people like, oh, my God, you're having so much sex. Or, oh, my God, you're hooking up with this person, that person. But I'm but they're trying. concerned about your safety. That's what that is based on. OK, it's not you're not being judged. OK, you're being cared for or they're concerned about you. So that's why they're saying, you know, you're doing this, you're doing that. I try to find somebody. So I, I, I don't know. But I, I can speak for myself. I'm not, I wouldn't be criticizing you. I would just be concerned. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, and just like for you, I'm concerned. I'm concerned for any of Everybody our viewers course, right. just to hear this. You know, it's okay to be sexually needy or whatever you want to call it, or horny, excuse me. Yeah, horny. And, you know, <laughs> go for it. Do what you got to do, but do it safely. I think that's what it is. I think that's the problem. Jumping from one person to the next person to the next person. Like I said, it's nasty. Well, what so, I would say, I don't think it's nasty. It's just human no, nature. But I would say, like I always joke, me, myself, and I are having a good time. Exactly. However, exactly. me, myself, mm -hmm. and I get bored with each other. Yeah, I mean, it happens. I and mean, I, and, but I find that, let's say a person has been sustaining from having sex for a while mm -hmm. and now they want to have sex it may seem as if they are jumping from person to person to person and it, it is maybe that case but they sustained for so long that they were just like now, Look, they, now they done, the door done opened open, up and they just set. they went buck wild but yeah it's like you know now i got it and i can't get enough of it but that's like anything i think that goes from alcohol people are saying from alcohol cigarettes Amen. anything Amen. i think we have to give people room to explore oh, you know their sexuality or whatever but that but we also don't know people's backstories you don't know if they've been abstinent for a certain period of time we don't know um how long it's been for them to been in a relationship or even just connect with someone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or that they connected with someone but that person was full on not interested in getting to know them any or just wanted they just a one to have sex. the sex yeah right but exactly. I perceived it to be okay. like I always say <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> it's um it's, it takes two and I think that it, like you said yes people care about you but when they're you know come to the point of saying oh well people jump from one relationship mm -hmm, to another mm -hmm. you don't know the backstory no, yeah you, you perceive but what still look like that. what we were trying to get our point across was that being serial about it not serial you know just jumping from one to the next one to the next one that's I think what could be a problem for anybody I mean and once again I think safety is what I'm I, I'm fixated on the safety part of it you know 
And okay, so well, if they're safe, if it, is it, it, then it's okay then. By all means, help yourself. Right. I mean, if you got a big safe, appetite, go ahead. Right. You want more, more, more than one bowl of spaghetti? Go right ahead. Right. Have I mean, one, two, three, four. Yeah, go right. I have I nothing mean, to say about I that. I mean, like they say, um, you live only once. And people are, mm -hmm. who I find that single people get a bum rap. Yeah, yeah, sometimes they do. Sometimes I think they do. because they don't, I think people who have been in longer term relationships, who not really, who dip in maybe, who maybe mm -hmm. be in relationships, but they can venture out or yeah. whatever. They yeah. But it's not the same when you've been single for decades or years mm -hmm. to go out and find a sexual partner. It's no, not no, that it's easy. Not, it's, not, it's not easy. I Nothing mean, is easy I mean, anymore. Yes. The pandemic has seen to that. Let me There's no more e easy stuff like that. But let me rephrase that. Meaningful sexual relationships. Because in the gay world, as I said, you can go on and, and get an app and you can have and sex. And once again. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I would say a meaningful sex mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is harder versus having just so random So you're saying sex. Uh, the serial uh -huh. from one to the other is okay as long mm -hmm. as it's safe. Yeah, I mean, whatever you consider safe. I mean, you know, some people like bondage. That's not, to me, that's not, he ain't tying me up or me. Right, I mean, but that is in, that is safe to certain other people. True. Everyone has different levels of what they consider right. safe. So I think we have to take each individual, each inter situ situation. But for me being a single gay man, I think, we need to, people in general, I think, um, have to have more compassion and understanding mm -hmm. to a person who might appear to be having a lot of sex. Because, I mean, because I could have a, because look, go ahead, I see you laughing. No, I'm not. Go ahead, Connie, no, go ahead. What did you say was appear to be having a lot of sex? <laughs> It doesn't appear they're having a lot of sex. But to now, once again, we're saying just jumping from one to another. I just want to know why they just can't maybe have one. Okay, so let me. Maybe two. But again, but, that goes back to my thing. You and I have had conversations before. And in a month, I might have had three sexual partners. But that sounded like a lot. Mm. But because just saying, they were just, different people, it sounded like a lot. Mm -hmm. But maybe three week, two weeks went by, or three weeks went by, and it, it, I didn't have sex with anybody. So you had to make it up with the I, next, I, right. I met somebody new because I didn't have a relationship with the last one. It was just sex. But, but and once again, if that's what it is. It's just sex. It's not a relationship. But you're trying, like I always say to people. No, you're not, that's not trying if you're jumping from one well, to the other. Well, like I always say, the gay men do it backwards. They always have sex <laughs> oh, first. Uh, oh, no pun intended. No pun intended. They do it backwards <laughs> where they have sex first. Oh. Then if they like each other, relationships develop. Because now we have all these apps. It's so easily, there's a candy store. So you can pick, oh my God, he's beautiful. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh. He's beautiful. Why am I investing in you? You cute and all, but I'm going to get a cuter one. He has nice qualities. Oh my God, he has it going on. But I'm horny. He's not available. Okay, well, I'm let me go get on to the next ass. person. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so that's again, where the hop, hop, hop comes from. Right. So maybe it's not the person. It might be the circumstance or the, posi the this community that they're attached to, like mine. And, and another thing, you keep saying gay men. Gay. No, that's for everybody. Everybody. Everybody, you know, there's ways. They got clubs you can go to. Ladies go out. They dress to the yeah. knives. This I is know. out. That's yeah, out. Swingers, everything. Yeah. 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 All of that. Yeah. And, you know, they meet people, too, so. This, yeah. is not, this is not just geared toward gay. We're just saying everybody. Everybody. And when you're in a serial situation, hopping from one to the other. Then I guess when I say gay, because I can only speak for, for yourself. A, for myself. And I can't really man. speak to much of it because I'm not hopping. So I don't But know. you have a lot of gay friends. Yes, I do. And um, do a lot of them are the hopping. Same, and, but not, some, no, no. Well, you know what? Generally, I think you know you're right. Because I came across another situation with another friend. And they are hopping. They're hopping because they're using the app. They're using the I app. I recall somebody that's they're and using some the app. Some of us are just wanting to meet some people and in hopes that we luck up and meet a guy that we date. 
It's a, it's a draw. It's a draw to love. That's right. But unfortunately, yeah. these apps in the gay community, I find, has made it difficult to have a relationship because a relationship. everybody's going to the app. Because it's a candy store and it's sad. Yeah. It's not like a dating app where, oh, we're going on a date. Well, you know what? Then here we go. Here's another okay. thing. Okay. Try the dating app. Let, let's flip this. Okay. Let's, and don't try the app that's the candy store. Try the app that's dating. I know a lot of people oh, who thought they was gray, gay, straight, or not just whatever. They went to on the dating websites, and I know people who are now married. Oh, no, I know a few. I mean, for mm -hmm. me, I, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, if not married, a very meaningful relationship. I have that. to get beyond on a personal level. I yes. have to get beyond having to have texting and the chatting and the conversation, the idle chit chat on a phone. Well, that's you. So you don't want either. You want to get straight to the point. Not like that. Straight but to the I point. But I don't <laughs> want to sit on the phone and texting someone. Hi, how are you? Who are you? So you, 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 I'd you rather meet them in person. Okay, you don't want to put the work in. So let's just say this and oh, you can sum it up. God, yes, let's and we're only up. speaking for him. Yes. <laughs> he doesn't want to get the work done. I, I do want to whom, work. To whom much is given, much, much is, is required. required. So uh, therefore, yeah. summing this up, for yes. you all out there who don't want to be serial, <laughs> in and out, up and down, <laughs> then take time to try to form a relationship. Don't worry about getting it in right away. <laughs> <laughs> See what you can get out of dealing with a person on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If not, I suggest the dating, <laughs> the dating apps. I, like I said, I know for a fact they've worked. And so Maybe everybody. I can bring some of these people on and you can even hear what they got to say. How I'm looking for is one of my friends to find a hot, hot, beautiful man and bring him and say, hey, this is such and such. I think I would He's get He's a along. serial. I'm looking for a matchmaker, I guess. But oh, anyway. Man. Once again, here <laughs> we are. Once again, here we are. We want to say thank you again for tuning in to another episode of Colorful Conversations with Connie and, and Corey. Corey. Our topic today was serial dating or going from one relationship to another. Not relationship. Well, sad. From one bed with, to the other. Or one bed to the other. However you look at it, we want you to be safe. Please. Relationships are based on you. They are individualized. Exactly. No one should judge you. So do you, baby. <laughs> Again, we want you to subscribe, like, share, comment, and also email us and let us know what you want us to talk about. And remember, our motto is Please. Live Solidly. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Good night. Good night. <laughs>